definitely know how I do. And with this one, Pat and I are good friends. Okay, um, I probably text him more this preseason, just because now I'm in the league with him, um, and I have all the respect in the world for him as a coach, for their program, what he's been able to accomplish over his 13 years. Um, and the reason I know it's been 13 years is because we got our jobs a couple weeks apart. I, I think I got this one first, and then he got Towson just because they decided first. Um, but Pat is, he's, he's a lifer, and he's been great at this. He was great as an assistant, and now he's great as a head coach. And um, I told him during the year, because they started off a, a not like Towson normally does a, because they played such a hard schedule, and I told him, I said, man, by the time it's time, you're going to be ready. And not even thinking that far ahead that I, it was our first game this year in, in conference play. I said, you will be ready. You'll have them dudes ready. That's what Pat does. So I take my hat off to them. Um, this was a, just a tough, we know what they do, they know what we do type of college basketball game. I think the teams are pretty evenly matched. Um, and tonight we outlasted them. Okay, that's that's what I would call that because it was 31-31. It could have gone any way. It was 21-20 at halftime. This, these teams were just pretty much even. The cool part for us, and I didn't even see it for myself yet, but for us to out-rebound Towson is one of the coolest things that we've accomplished this year. Okay, they are great at that. And for us to be able to even battle them, I didn't even tell my guys out rebound them. I said let's let's be like let's rebound close to what they do, so they don't. But if I told them if they do like they do to everybody else and get 12 more than us, we're that's a hard game to win. So I'm so proud of my guys. I didn't even know that during the game. Clyde told me, but I just saw it for myself. That was huge in the game that we didn't get crushed on the boards because that's what they do to you. See, I, yes, I, I think it definitely does, and it, I, I think it, it says that these guys pay attention to scouting reports. Um, we told them what the rebounding deal was, okay? And we don't re – we're rebounding better this year than we have in a few years. We were awful at it last year. Since we've been back from Christmas, we've worked on boxing out every single day for six minutes each day, okay? And now our guys are getting it. You have to build habits. When the shot goes up, go box your man out first. And I probably have been a bad coach because I, I think you should just do that. But you have to train them to do that, and we've been working on it hard since we've been back, and I think it paid off for us tonight. Can you talk to the patience in a game like this where it's kind of physical, it's, you know, it's, no one's feeling like it's going to win any kind of final breakthroughs in your mind? Yeah, I mean, I feel like earlier on um, in my career, I maybe would have started pressing a little bit just because I wasn't really shooting a lot. And when I was shooting, uh, I was rushing a little bit and wasn't making them. Um, but I think I, as as an older guy, as a fifth-year guy um, that's been through it, that's been through a few conference seasons um, in a different conference, I kind of knew what to expect a little bit um, and knew to kind of stay patient um, and knew my teammates and coaches trust me and that the shots were going to come. Um, and just keep playing my game. So I think I think it, it was more of a maturity thing for me to be able to kind of stay patient and just keep playing and know that shots were going to come my way at some point. Coach, I know that you know it was up to the, the conference play now to try to keep as heavy as they can and big man that they can hold on. You know, where is this team the most growth hungry you've seen from day one to now? And where is the ceiling for this team? Well, the most growth, uh, you know, because we have some guys that are, are young in their years of playing here, he's a freshman, Abdi's a freshman, Big's a freshman. So we, I think we have grown up a bunch because these guys are not playing like freshmen, okay? We've counted on him to be an older guy right from the beginning. So him, Abdi, and Boog, what they're doing as young guys in this league is incredible. Um, that's probably where – We've improved the most just because they have some experience now in college games, and that's probably where we still can get the be get better, okay? Because Jared's just scratching the surface. 
Um, he's just scratching, man, and he, he can shoot threes. He can guard multiple positions. Um, he blocks everything. Um, he's gained about 18 pounds since he's been here. He's still working in the weight room, so he's going to keep changing his body. And the more he does on the court, it's just going to turn the lights on for him because he can do it already. He just has to do it in these games, and we see it in practice every day. So, you know, you, you don't – it's one game, and this league is tough, and we just know after going through it last year. But for us to protect home court against a tough, tough Towson team, you know, I think the sky is the limit. But we need a little bit more time just to see how this is going to go, you know. But we'll be ready for Tuesday. And, uh, you know, I, I think it's limitless how good we can get. I think with Alexander, okay, Xander's a veteran. But he hasn't been in this role where every single coach, his goal is to stop him, okay. And that's hard to deal with. He had that a little bit at Bucknell last year. Um, but now it's like every game. They're trapping him. They're hard hedging. They stay until he gives it up. They're trying to go at him on offense just to get into his legs and wear him down. The more he gets comfortable in this role, okay, the more he gets comfortable in this role because he can do all the stuff. And long as he doesn't start pressing, he's going to start figuring out, you know, and I got to do a better job. That's what I've told him. I got to do a better job of understanding everyone's trying to stop him. I just coach and we play how we play. And he's a smart guy, so he knows how to navigate. But my staff and myself, we got to start paying attention to just how hard these guys are going to try to shut him down and come up with some things so we can make them pay when that's their main, main goal. Well, we, we pay attention to the scouts, so we know we have to be physical and box out all the time. And my mindset uh, before this game was like, I got to get every block. I got to box out my man all the time so we can win and go run in transition. It, it seems like at times you guys kind of feed off each other. You know, one guy gets a block, another guy gets a steal, things like that. Can you kind of sense that from the game? Well, yeah. I mean, we, we, just, we was just communicating out there, so everything just played out right. We're going to get him better in – Interviews because he he goes man don't be so short and talk man hit him with the Spanish <laughs> tap, 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 tap. go ahead man go ahead let him know who you are boy stop playing on nervous Nelly one final question for you guys yeah. 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 yeah whether y'all have a lot of our fellow freshmen kind of just making a walk now how would you say the player the role that you've played so far you know being able to play with someone like that that you have not seen well. Xander released a lot of pressure for me because uh, I haven't played basketball. Before this season, I, I haven't played basketball for like two years. I was just working out, practicing, getting bigger and all that. And coming to this year with this role, it's kind of hard because like, I never played ba uh, college basketball. So it's kind of confusing and it's frustrating when stuff don't go my way. So he, uh, he actually helped, helped me a lot. So. Change is to no change. Yeah. That's what I would do. That was a good thing, good way to start it today. And that, I think that loosens people up on guarding him when he gets off the ball and gets in there and yeah. gives people the ball. It just makes us more versatile. And, you know, Jack Cowan's grabbing a bunch of boards. He wasn't shooting it great tonight, but but he's going crazy on the rebounds. Nikita had a little tough run around the basket, but then Book came in and stepped in and got some rebound puffbacks for us. You know, so it – there's so much growth still happening with this group. You know, we're, we're not where we're going to be in a month. And uh, if we continue to get better and everybody stays listening to the coaches instead of the outside stuff, we'll have a chance when it's, when it's all said and done to be one of the best teams, I think.